game fives are always pivotal. And unlike the Spurs, the Toronto Raptors were able to uh, take care of business at home in pivotal game five. And they defeated the Miami Heat 99-91. to uh, DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry, who either have both uh, struggled mightily in, in games or one or the other uh, were hot and the other one was not, both were uh, on all cylinders. The backcourt was on all cylinders uh, in yesterday's game. And DeMar DeRozan scored a career playoff high 34 points. I think Lowry had like 24, 25 points. And um, they pretty much held Dwayne Wade in check. Uh, he had 20 points, but, you know, he didn't uh, take over the game in quite the same fashion that he had the prior two games. And Toronto was able to hold on. They never uh, trailed in this game. And um, we'll have to see what happens in game six when the scene shifts to Miami. Um... I'm always hesitant, like I said before, of uh, league politics and the antics that uh, is going on. Maybe uh, the Adam Silver uh, reign will be a lot cleaner than the David Stern reign, you know. But I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Miami's not blowing out, if it's not like a blowout lead for the Miami Heat or a blowout lead for the Toronto Raptors, if it's a close game. I want to see if there's any funny business, any funny calls or, uh, or questionable non-calls. You know what I'm getting at? But the Toronto Raptors are able to win in Game 6 or prevail in Game 7. If they don't win in Game 6, this will be the first time they've advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals in their franchise history. And... Uh, the closest they've come before, I believe, was in 2001 during the Eastern Conference semifinals that they had between the Philadelphia 76ers. And that was a series for the ages. I remember uh, Allen Iverson and both uh, Allen Iverson and Vince Carter having epic performances during that series. Uh, I remember Vince Carter having a 50 point game. I think he hit like eight three pointers. I mean, it was an incredible uh, series. I think you could find that game on YouTube for younger fans. And uh, Allen Iverson had two 50-point games during that series. Two. I believe he's the first player uh, since Michael Jordan to... Matter of fact, he may be... No, I, I'm, not, I'm not willing to say that, but I think he was the last player uh, since Michael Jordan to have two 50-point games in the same series. Uh, but... Yeah, it was a tremendous series. But back to the present. Uh, Toronto may be on their way. Uh, the pressure's on Miami. We'll see.